favorite dish. <laughs> the dark a la ronde. A la ronde. What cocktail are we making? All right, we're gonna make a Negroni today. And for those of you who don't like the bitter taste, we're also gonna be doing a Negroni chocolat oh, for nice. dessert. So we're back in isolation because we've all been very naughty and um, it's nearly Christmas time. <laughs> no, you might want to do something a bit fancy because it's Christmas in July for all you new guys. It's Christmas yeah. yeah, you like Christmas in July. Or just, uh, you know, meat and veg. <laughs> or date night. Yeah, you want to have a cold and steamy ISO date night. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, missing out. Yeah. <laughs> so, we are doing duck a la orange. Which, is, which means, do you know what it means? Uh, duck with orange sauce. Orange duck. Orange orange duck, duck. Sauce. I'm an orange duck. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Even though it sounds fancy, it's not. It's not. Mm, a bit like me. No, we prick the fat. Oh, okay. Because there's nothing like a good ISO therapy and a bit of fat pricking. Do you have to do it that um, intensely or is there a, <laughs> a softer option? You can do it softer. For but... people who don't like. But that's doing that, that's quite a lot of fun. Give it a whirl. <laughs> is not going to quack anymore. We want the fat to render out of the duck. And the juices to sink in. Yes, and the skin to go crispy. Beautiful. Right. Anyway, can you sprinkle for me? Because I've now got that. So, cumin? Oh, wait. How much? Just a little sprinkle. Down it, down it. Oh, don't. Oh, yep, yeah. no. Nope, we get Good. Good. Yep, I lost the power of speech, but I'm back. Coriander? Oh, wait. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mm. Oh, look at that. And then, because you like it a bit spicy on the bottom. Mm. Mm. Top the top? Top the top. That's a little heavy. Yeah. But, you, you want your skin to pick up. Mm -hmm. And the way it's going to do that, stop, stop. Sorry, cholesterol people. Not for you. Not well. You can be in the duck anyway. So if you really got back, that's wrong. This will kill you. Anyway, <laughs> there you go. That is all you have to do to your duck. Really? That's it. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Our oven is sitting on 200 degrees right now. Fan four. Oh wait. Fan four. Into the pan it goes. 200 degrees. 20 in minutes. Oven. 20 minutes. Yeah. Up your line. Duck inside. Duck inside. <laughs> and at the same time, because we're very efficient here at Sublimo, yes. um, we can roast some potatoes. You know what is even better with. Um, oh, let me do it. <laughs> Give it a bang. Oh! Hey! <laughs> Don't need no man. Yeah, Bring it. Okay. So I have here, flying across the kitchen, uh, some potatoes that I have parboiled, cut up and parboiled. How long does parboiling take? It took about five minutes. Right. So it used to look like this, now it looks like that. Look at that. So we, this is a tablespoon of duck fat that we are just going to melt. Once it is all melted, we are going to add our hard-boiled potatoes. Right. So it's one potato per serving, pretty much. Yes. And we're doing just one serving. Yes. So yeah, we're not being greedy today. That's expensive, baby. Mm. Mm. So once that is all zhuzhed up and shiny, so your potatoes are zhuzhed and shiny, mm -hmm. add a little bit of salt. And then, in your pan. Into your pan. 
in the gija. Twenty minutes, Robert's your father's brother. Okay, so it's got three components. Um, it has got the root, <laughs> Campari, and gin. When choosing a gin for your Negroni, uh, you can choose a specific Negroni gin or just a London dry because you don't want anything too. Um, too many crazy botanicals in the gin. I've never had too many crazy botanicals in my gin. For these, it's 30 mils of each for your standard Negroni. So this is a standard Negroni, 30 ml Campari. And there won't be snow in Africa this Christmas time. Oh, you just spooked all over me. It's the greatest gift. Don't forget this gift is mine. When spring ever grows. Bad idea. <clears throat> and we got our Negroni gin from the Magical Four Pillars, didn't we? Yes. yes. Shout out to Jimmy Freeman. <laughs> Love Heelsville. Heelsville <laughs> hashtag. <laughs> what was that? So you've got your three shots in there with a oh decent amount of Shush. <laughs> so what you want, want to do is hold that steady and go crazy. Right, so we've got our old fashioned glass filled with some ice. We take our strainer and literally just strain it in. Oh, she's full today. <laughs> Damn, okay. Well, it is isolation. Yeah. You know, so, day drinking and all that shit. Yeah. So we want to garnish with an orange peel. So you get your knife and you do this. And then you do this. Oops, not that. Why do you do it like that? Because you want the flavor. <laughs> I don't know. It's just what we do. <laughs> you do do the do. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, okay, and then... Put that, isn't it? No, you want a big one. Oh. Okay. Yes, I do. <laughs> and so you get the oils out, stick it around, the oil, the little bit of the feely, and then bam. Cablamo! Negroni! Motherfucker! Motherfucker! <laughs> oh, my hands are sticky! Go on. <laughs> so we've got some creme de cacao, the white version. Because it's the better version. Is that the cream ever? So it's chocolate, chocolate liqueur. I think. It's not it's not a cream or anything. It's not a it's cream French, or cow. French day today. And <laughs> shot of that, so 30 ml. And that'll just um, take out some of the bitterness and add a new flavour. That's very nice. Strain it in. Mm. You have some chocolate. So you can use just a plain chocolate. Uh, milk chocolate or dark chocolate, it's fine. And just grate it in with a grater on top. Mm. I don't know why we do this, but it looks friggin' nice. Yes. Jars! Ready, jam, frickin' fine. Mm. Mm. Call me mm. Try mm -hmm. Enjoy. Mm. Alright, it's all awesome. time. Mm. So we need to segment an orange. So this is something that you need to do for your orange sauce and you need to get rid of all the pith on your orange. Along the segmented lines, you cut down because you don't want that middle bit and you don't want the pith because I've just got some there. You cut that off. So you just, what do you think, Melly? Over yeah. here, yeah. with our elbow, oh, you sweetie, we <laughs> are going to juice two oranges. Um, get yourself one from Kmart. Because <laughs> this one, like, it's expensive, but it doesn't work. It's famous for not being a very good juicer. I don't know what you mean. It's pretty shit. <laughs> it's pretty shit. 
it needs manual labor. Like for 250 bucks, I wouldn't want my juicer to juice for me. <laughs> so into the pan goes your freshly squeezed fresh OJ. And then you're gonna mix that amount. Chicken stock. Chicken stock. Look, I can first time. Mm. Up yours. Mm. Alright, so in it goes. So how much chicken stock you put in? About 200 mils. What now? And then two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Oh. Now to give it a little bit of extra zhuzh, because a little extra zhuzh goes a long way in the mm. flavor land. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, I can't put some in the face. Yeah. Yeah. All right, just a little splush. You could use Grand Marnier or any kind of orange flavoured liqueur. Triple sec. Sec? No, oh. Marley says no. It's boiling, you put your contro in, and we're just going to add our orange segments just to soften them up a tiny bit. Half a tablespoon of butter, put it into the sauce and let that melt around. Okay, and I think our duck and potatoes are ready. So we did put it in for 30 minutes. In the end. In yeah. the end. That's our duck. Until that skin's quite crispy. Mm. Followed by our potatoes. Cooked in our duck fat. Again, quite crispy. The butter has melted and we've got a tablespoon of corn flour that's been dissolved in water. And we're just going to add that. How much water? A tablespoon of each? Yeah. yeah okay. Just to thicken it up slightly. You don't want it to be gluggy because that's gross. So we're just going to slice our duck up. Mm -hmm. mm. And we turned the um, sauce off the heat as well and then chucked our just a couple of beans, green beans and some boiling water. Was there any salt in that water? No, because green salty beans are disgusting. Okay, so we're cutting up our duck. <laughs> and as you can see, it's still a little bit pink in the middle. That's which okay. Is, which is actually duck cooked perfectly. On our fancy ice plate. There you go. That little bit. Here are our beautiful roasted duck potatoes. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. That's the one. Yep. That's one there. That's mine. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, and here is our sauce. The beef dog, the beef the beans. <laughs> there it is, people. The duck a la orange. So there we go. There is another Cablamo. Um, cheers. Enjoy. Perfect for Christmas in July. Perfect for a date night. So, kablamo. Enjoy. <laughs>